And we are back. Jefferson Parish President of Broussard, let me start with you. You just heard the Director of Homeland Security's explanation of what has happened this last week. What is your reaction? We have been abandoned by our own country. Hurricane Katrina will go down in history as one of the worst storms ever to hit an American coast. But the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina will go down as one of the worst abandonments of Americans on American soil ever in U.S. history. I am personally asking our bipartisan congressional delegation here in Louisiana to immediately begin congressional hearings to find out just what happened here, why did it happen, who needs to be fired, and believe me, they need to be fired right away because we still have weeks to go in this tragedy. We have months to go. We have years to go. And whoever's at the top of this totem pole, that totem pole needs to be chainsawed off, and we've got to start with some new leadership. It's not just Katrina that caused all these deaths in New Orleans here. Bureaucracy has committed murder here in the greater New Orleans area, and bureaucracy has to stand trial before Congress now. It's so obvious. FEMA needs more congressional funding. It needs more presidential support. It needs to be a cabinet-level director. It needs to be an independent agency that, that will be able to fulfill its mission to work in partnership with state and local governments around America. FEMA needs to be empowered to do the things that was created to do. It needs to come somewhere like New Orleans with all of its force immediately, without red tape, without bureaucracy, act immediately with common sense and leadership and save lives. Forget about the property. We can rebuild the property. It's got to be able to come in and save lives. We need strong leadership at the top of America right now in order to accomplish this and to reconstructing FEMA. Uh, Mr. Prasad, let me ask, let me ask should, should, hold on, hold on, sir. Shouldn't the mayor of New Orleans and the governor of New Orleans bear some responsibility? Couldn't they have been much more forceful, much more effective, and much more organized in evacuating the area? Sir, they were told, like me, every single day, the Calvary's coming on a federal level. The Calvary's coming. The Calvary's coming. The Calvary's coming. I have just begun to hear the hoofs of the Calvary. The Calvary's still not here yet, but I've begun to hear the hoofs, and we're almost a week out. Let me give you just three quick examples. We had Walmart deliver three trucks of water, trailer trucks of water. FEMA turned them back. They said we didn't need them. This was a week ago. Uh, FEMA, uh, we had a hundred, we had a thousand gallons of diesel fuel on a Coast Guard vessel docked in my parish. The Coast Guard said, come get the fuel right away. When we got there with our trucks, they got a word. FEMA says, don't give you the fuel. Yesterday, yesterday, FEMA comes in and cuts all of our emergency communication lines. They cut them without notice. Our sheriff, Harry Lee, goes back in, he reconnects the line, he posts armed guards on our line and says no one's getting near these lines. Sheriff Harry Lee said that if America, would have, American government would have responded like Walmart has responded, we wouldn't be in this crisis. But I want to thank Governor Blanco for all she's done and all her leadership. She's sending the National Guard. I just repaired a breach on my side of the 17th Street Canal that the Secretary didn't foresee, a 300-foot breach. I just completed it yesterday with convoys of National Guard and, and local parish workers and levy board people. It took us two and a half days working 24-7. I just closed it. Right. I'm telling you, most importantly, I want to thank my public employees right. that have worked 24-7. They're burnt out, the doctors, the nurses. And I want to give you one last story, and I'll shut up and let you tell me whatever you want to tell me. The guy who runs this building I'm in, the emergency management, he's responsible for everything. His mother was trapped in St. Bernard Nursing Home, and every day she called him and said, are you coming, son? Is somebody coming? And she said, yeah, mama, somebody's coming to get you. Somebody's coming to get you on Tuesday. Somebody's coming to get you on Wednesday. Somebody's coming to get you on Thursday. Somebody's coming to get you on Friday. And she drowned it Friday night. She drowned it Friday night. Mr. President. <laughs> Nobody's coming to get us. Nobody's coming to get him. The secretary has promised. Everybody's promised. They've had press conferences. I'm, I'm sick of the press conferences. 
For God's sakes, shut up and send to somebody. <laughs>